Hey girls, so here is the Beauty and Skin Care Collective Haul that I um, told you guys I was going to post. This is all stuff I've got in the last month that I haven't um, shown you guys yet. So here we go. First I will start with the skin care. I went to the body shop, which I don't think I have ever bought anything from the body shop, um, let alone even gone in there probably ever in my life. But um, I follow a lot of um, UK bloggers, beauty bloggers, and they were all talking about this yes, yes, yes lip butter. I guess the body shop is much bigger in the UK than it is here in America. Not necessarily that they have more stores, but they have more events. And um, I think a lot of girls over there buy the, a lot of products, and including makeup from there, that we don't typically um, do a lot of spending there. At least nobody that I know does. But um, this is just a delicious scented um, lip butter. It almost smells kind of like mango or papaya or something along those lines. And um, Laura, or Lollipop26, she blogged about this and was saying that because of the white color and the consistency, it really helps tone down a bold lip color. But I just got it because I like the packaging and the majority of the proceeds go towards um, AIDS research through MTV. So I thought that was really cool. While I was in the body shop showing my best friend Kim where this was because she wanted to buy one, um, they had a promotion going on for their um, tea tree products. So I got a few things. I believe it was two for 20. And um, I got the Tea Tree Blackhead Exfoliating Wash. It's for blemished skin. And then I also got the Blemish Fade Night Lotion. And I've used the night lotion a lot more than I've used the blackhead scrub. And I really, really love this night lotion. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth review, um, just let me know. But so far, I really love this. I love the consistency. I love that it leaves my skin feeling moisturized, but not, like, slick. And I actually wear it in the day sometimes, too. But I'm really bad about washing my face in the morning, and I really only wash it at night. So I like having something that is made for night that will stay on your skin while you sleep and really help um, with any problem areas. And then I got the scrub, like I said. And I also, oops, I also got this little brush. And this just kind of helps work the product in. You don't necessarily need it for a scrub like I got because um, that might be a little too harsh if you have sensitive skin, but just for any kind of wash, any kind of facial wash that you use, it's good to use a brush. It really helps work it in, and I like the way it leaves my skin feeling because it kind of sloughs off all the dead skin. All right, uh, what else? I also got this Urban Decay palette recently. I got it at Ulta. It was like $12. It's called, I believe it's called The Book of Shadows. I still have the plastic on the mirror, but it has a little mirror. I've never had a set of Urban Decay shadows like this in a palette form before. It comes with a little brush. I haven't used it yet. But the colors are just gorgeous. We've got Flipside, which is a turquoise. Midnight Cowboy, which is a shimmery champagne, a darker, darker champagne shade. Stray Dog, which is brown with a very slight hint of shimmer. An oil slick which is almost like I think it's black tide from Mac real shimmery black see these are the colors I'm gonna be doing um, a tutorial on a few different looks you can do with this palette um, it's really great quality shadows at a really good price I think four shadows for like $12 in the cute packaging I think that's pretty good and again that was from Ulta um, okay I will just dive into these next um, there is a girl named Holly among the beauty blogs, and her blog is Yummy Mummy, and I'll post um, the link either down here or in the sidebar. And she has another site called Makeup Merchant, and it's for girls who live outside of the UK who are just craving UK brands like Barry M and things like that, or stuff from Boots or Superdrug. And she'll buy them, she'll take her own time and her own money and go buy the products for you and then send them to you. And she doesn't charge you anything but the cost of the products and the shipping. So she is amazing. She's so sweet. She's gorgeous. And these are two things that I ordered from her. They're from Gosh, which I believe Gosh is in Canada as well. But um, yeah, I got a Funky Violet. <clears throat> these are their Velvet Touch Eyeliners. And then I got Bananas. Oops, kind of smudged it there. 
So Funky Violet obviously is the top purple and Bananas is the champagne gold shade. And this is great for the inner rim if you don't want something as shocking as white. And it's really popular among the gurus so I had to get one and try it out for myself. Alright, these few products are from, actually while I'm on the topic of Holly, I also bought some nail polishes from her because I've been wanting to try some Barry M nail polishes. So I bought, they're called nail paints, and I got yellow, I got mint green, I got bright pink, and then this I believe is brand new from Barry M. It's Pink Flamingo. It's a really pretty pinky coral color. She also sent me this Hot Looks from Collection 2000. This polish is in BMX Bandit, which is this really unique blue shade. And I'm really, I haven't used, the, I used the Barry M to do the yellow, and I was pretty pleased with it actually, but I haven't tried the other colors. And I did a manicure with this last week, and I am just loving it. I don't know. I'm assuming this is just a drugstore brand. Um, the bottle's kind of small, but it's super opaque, at least this shade. I think I only did one coat. It dried really fast, and it stayed on for a long time. So I definitely recommend this Hot Looks brand if you're ever in the UK or can purchase from someone in the UK. All right, and that's it for now. I have a few more things, but I'll save them for a future show and tell video. And thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.